perch everywhere. I hooked myself. Look at that guy. So today we're doing an unboxing, full review, and test run of the Recon 5 Plus underwater camera. I love underwater cameras and I'm so excited about this simply because it's got the SD card in it and it's much more compact than my last one. Small camera, so I'm guessing light capabilities are going to be, you know, it's going to not let in as much light. It's probably not going to be as crisp as like a full size model, but it's going to be compact, which was what, exactly what I need. Easy to haul around and it's going to be able to record everything I need and I can put it on my computer with ease. So I'm very, very, very excited about this camera. So let's start unboxing. I lied, it's not a regular SD, it's a micro SD. So it's like a GoPro chip. Got one of those laying around somewhere too. Okay, so this is my unboxing. So far what I have is a very nice compact package. I really like it. The buttons are all very easy to understand and use. Love that. Here's the LED light. Ooh, light. Plug this thing in, charge it up quick, and we're gonna go test it out on the lake. We made it. We are at Detroit Lake. There's only like two other boats here. Three. Two, that, there's nobody in that one, so yeah, there's two. But there is something that sucks. The docks are gone. They're right here. A big deal, I just have to beach it now, but eh, it's always easier with docks when you're going solo. Plan this terribly, the sun is coming down. I have like two hours to actually get some underwater footage. So good job, Nicole, for being super late and not planning that out correctly. And uh, yeah, I would talk more, but we gotta go. fish around. If not, we're gonna call them in. So, first of all, I need to have it on the lightest part of the boat as I can. I need light. To make this stuff work, you need light. Holy cows, this is... Ah! Of course, holding it over the boat edge is what every, you know, smart person does. Whoa. Definitely a pretty clear picture. We're in roughly 12 feet of water and it's doing well. This lake itself is very clear, mind you. It's just gonna be a lot clearer in the middle of the day. I got out here at, you know, a ridiculously late time. Oh, there's two little fishies down there. Perch everywhere, I hooked myself. Look at that guy. Hey buddy, hey! I had more time to find a school of walleye. I know they're hanging out over there. There's always some in that weed pile and I can never catch them, ever. Image itself is phenomenal. Like I'm in love with this thing. I'm using an ice fishing rod with a rattler just because I'm trying to get some life to this spot I'm sitting at for video comparison. It's just to cause commotion. So if there's any fish in the air, they at least come check it out because they can generally feel vibration before they can see anything. Man, when you really just need to find fish, you can always rely on perch, even if they're babies. So why am I actually using the ice rod? Because the camera is right off the side of the boat. I don't have a mount for it. There's no way to push it off. So this way it's short enough in which I can have my line in front of it and I can see what my line's doing. I'm emulating ice fishing um, just for this purpose. So probably one of the biggest benefits of using an underwater camera is because it can teach you to understand your sonar unit so much more. It can literally train your eye to know what you're looking at. Is this typically a school of walleye or is it a school of perch? It's easy to get them fooled up. It really helps you train your eye for what you should be seeing. And I think that's kind of the most important part of having a camera. Battery's still doing good. I haven't stopped recording, it's working hard. I love that this is a mini SD chip, but guys, it makes putting the video onto my computer so easy, it's ridiculous. I always like to use these three in conjunction, and it's definitely been dead for a while. 
So all these perch that I'm picking up near the bottom, I'm not, I'm actually finding with the camera. I'm not even seeing on my sonar unit. Pretty cool. Um, so here's the thing. Like I can feel the taps like unbelievable off this rod. And traditionally I would assume that this would be walleye. Like from what I've, well, I'm not seeing anything, but from what I'm feeling, I would just instinctively say walleye because that's what I want. That's what I want to feel. And then when you stick a camera down there, real life sets in and you realize it's usually not, you know, usually that's a bold word. It's sometimes not quite what you think is going on. They tell the real story, not the assumptions we think we have. It takes three men to load a boat. It takes 